Supporters say it could be the answer to a lot of the world's problems. Permaculture is a method of farming that examines how ecosystems work together in nature and then seeks to copy that design. SBS reporter Emma Hannigan went to meet one of the world's leading experts at the Permaculture Research Institute of Australia. All the world's problems can be solved in a garden, according to Jeff Lawton. This is permaculture, first developed by Australian Bill Mollison in the 1970s. It's a method of organic farming that looks at how plants interact in nature and copies that design. This plant is a weed. It's being used as a ground cover to prevent other weeds. At the same time, it puts nutrients back into the soil. If you go in and look at how can we repair the landscape so that it becomes productive and beneficial to live in. So we'll design houses and, and buildings that, that are useful to local people, that, that heat themselves, cool themselves, catch their own water, light themselves. Mr Lawton is a leading expert on the method, running the Permaculture Research Institute of Australia. When Jeff Lawton moved here to Zaytuna Farm in 2002, all of this land was completely bare, and it's now full of abundance. But permaculture doesn't just work in this kind of environment. He's proven that it can make the most barren land fertile. It has grown into a global movement. There's an initiative right now in Detroit, a major first world city that's collapsed because of the removal and, and, and deterioration of, of the motor industry. So the regreening of Detroit, where 50% unemployment and 30% vacant land at the moment. At the other end of the scale, we're working with people in Darfur, in, in, in the most degraded war-torn zones. Seven years ago, he started a permaculture farm in the Jordanian desert. The project was almost an impossibility at the, at the outset. We, we were given this desolate piece of land to, to design. But they succeeded in creating a functioning farmland. The project has had a huge impact on the Jordanian farming community. Ahmed is one of a growing number of farmers reaping the benefits of permaculture. Critics question the productivity of permaculture. And if you're producing every day, all the time, the most diverse mix, it's not easily marketed anything but locally and regionally. That doesn't fit the global model at the moment. But if it's permanent and it goes on forever, it's obviously more productive than present systems. There are also questions over whether permaculture is applicable to more than a small number of dedicated people. But with food security becoming an increasingly pertinent problem, this method could help areas most at risk. Emma Hannigan, World News Australia.